educational part of the video. You can get tabs and backing tracks to practice along if you go to my website, www.erichaugenguitar.com. Let me briefly discuss the equipment I'm using. This is a 1966 Fender Mustang with Tom Brantley pickups. I'm in middle position with both of the pickups on. And let's see, I'm going into my board using my Strymon Deco for some saturation or compression, my Strymon Flint for some reverb, using my Silvertone 1484, and thank you to Rode Microphones for this NTR Active Ribbon Mic. That's what you're hearing. <laughs> Uh, this is an exploration of Hendrixian double stop possibilities. I'm a big fan of this style of playing, and I want to kind of uh, get across the idea of like, hey, here's like how I view things and how I can like how I generate more licks out of one lick to kind of impregnate your mind with wonder. <laughs> discuss all that's happening there because I've done other lessons of this style but I really want to just stay on one chord and really think about like how do I come up with all this stuff and how can you come up with more stuff it's an F sharp minor chord on an F sharp minor chord you can always use your F sharp minor pentatonic some people call that a blues scale technically it's not because it's missing the flatted fifth that would be a full blues scale. Let's review this form. Two, five, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, five, two, five. That's your classic minor pentatonic. And for some reason today I'm using my fingers just because I felt like being fingy. And so the groove, groove is important by the way. This one I specifically was like, mm, let me do like a, instead of like a usual like 4-4 four, four rock groove, let me give it a little bit of that Steely Dan bossa feel, a bossa nova feel, which gives it like a... Just because, really, I was just like, oh, that'll be a different style. So I got my thumb wrapped around the bottom to get the two. Ring finger on the four of the D. Pointer finger flat across the upper twos, but really only focused on the G and the B. That's the first thing. You, by the way, you could do this with a pick, too. Make sure I don't clip out my preamp. I'm going to use my fingers, by the way, if you watch my fingers, that's how I'm doing it. Like, I use all of those. I think I got that from, I got to take some lessons with the late, great Howard Morgan at some point in my life. And uh, yeah, he got me using all of my fingers for, for jazz type arrangements, but it works for all type of things, really. So that's the main feel, is that boom, boom, boom. I love that feel. The quasi-Latin rock bossa nova. And then my little, my starter lick, you know, which, you know, that's the one that just came from nowhere, really. So that's hammering two on, on the A to four. Two and two on the D and the G. And then a little... That's two and two on the G and B. Delicate ham look at those angles. Got to really try to hard to get that finger to come clean so it only gets those and then moves down. Now here's the way my brain works. If I found something that was cool on kind of one area, the first thing I do is just drop it a set of strings. And, the, and when I drop it a set of strings, it's important to realize it still has to stay within the structure of the scale. I can't just carbon copy it over. I have to drop it and then maybe make an adjustment or two. Here's the adjustment. Makes for a different hammer-on system. So that was... Now that hammer-on is starting on two of the D. Uh, to, you know, And then... 
So he's flat. The pinky now delicately hammers onto the five. And then two and two there. To the two and two to the, to the four there. So that whole system. Main lick. Variation. One lick became a second lick. And then the third lick, I was like, okay, different, different tack. I like the I like all the like all those parts of of the scale, the kind of the the double stops that exist, kind of clunk 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 on top of each other. So that gave me that system, which was again there's the main groove four and five, two and two, and then I like to do a little slide. Yeah, two up to four, and then four and four. And again, I was like, wow, neat one. Take it up a, a next set of strings. Now that one, the lick changed a little bit, and that's really just because of, just, just cause, really, just creativity. I was like, wait a second. I know that that note's not in the scale. That's a Dorian note. Sure sounds cool though. So that that variant is five and five, two and two, four and five on the G and the B. Pull it off to get flat across. Slide it back to two and two. And now land it on those middle two strings on the four and four. So that secondary system. Okay, now it needs to turn around. So the turnaround is a D major seven, which is just O, oh, two, 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 flat finger, E, and then F sharp minor again. Side note, if you have a Fender Mustang, the way to get these to stay in place, I literally tear up tiny scraps of paper and I jam them in before I put the bar in and then just kind of work the bar in and that's how I can get this bar to stay in its place, yes. Otherwise, it will flop around all over the place. Pro tip. So on these, these chords, the little fills. A little four, two, four, two, four. That's just playing around with the chord tones of that. love to do to take put a, a six on an E and when I say six I mean E F G A B C is the sixth note away in the key of E it's a C sharp that's what I'm putting on and that's what I do there so that little passage and then just for grins I put a little blues run at the end That to me is like a Clapton run. Uh, it's from like early Clapton. The kind of that little thing at the end, the way it goes like dee, 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 dee. that's straight like blues breaker stuff. So I do a little slide into the that too. So I'm back in my blues scale now. Five, two, five, two, five, four. Yeah. Yeah, when you get, there's a quick pull off right there. Practice that. And then the last part is just a, just four, two, four, four. That's not the point of this exercise, but it is a cool little lick. The point is to look at your, like, whenever you find a cool lick. Move it up. Move it up again. To get, and, and you, do, you can do this with every lick, every scale, every, everything. Just never just take one thing as though it's just one thing. It can, it can be more, and that's how I play guitar. That's how I come up with lots of different things from little kernels. I just kind of 
roll them around and push them over here and look at them from the left, look at them from the right to really just get the most out of anything that I think sounds cool. Obviously, don't do it if you don't think the thing doesn't sound cool. So to review the structures I look for, I call, I don't know what to call these ones. They're like the tricky hammer on ones. I am always looking for those. Those are ones, and I call these the flatties. The ones that are kind of like that. And of course you have the sliding the flatties. I think those are the three kind of things I look for, either just flats or sliding flats or the tricky ones, and then some combination thereof. I hope that that is helpful for you. Take it, take it slow, make it groovy, try one thing. If it sounds cool, take it over here, put it over there. Good luck with that, and thanks for watching.